welcome back friends welcome to another video from Shomu's biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about gene silencing so what is gene silencing gene silencing is a generalized term used when we block the expression of any gene inside a cell okay that means the prevention of a gene to express now expression of gene is the ultimate thing for all the purposes that we see a living organism is doing for example expression of gene means production of proteins and whatever thing we see actually we look at proteins so for why we require to block or silence expression of a specific gene or specific DNA segment let's assume this is a cell eukaryotic cell inside this cell we have nucleus and inside the nucleus we have the chromosome in the chromosome we have the DNA and the part of the DNA acts as gene so let's say this is our target gene that we know okay now in this complete set of genes some genes are important I mean most of the genes are important in different reasons but in some of those genes can have mutations some sort of mutation it might have due to those mutations or changes in those genes they might not function as a normal way right they become bad they behave badly so they, pro they produces some type of protein which is not good for the health so we don't want those genes to be present in the cell because if those genes are present it will make the cell unhealthy so what we need to do we need to take out that gene from that cell now there are different approaches to do that one of the approach is the gene knockout right knock out of the gene means you simply cut this gene out from this whole cell right using recombinant technologies and different methods of recombination you cut that gene out there is another way it's called knock down where what we do we block the expression but the gene is present right the gene should be present but we prevent this gene to be expressed so what we do we modify some regions of the controlling elements of the gene as well as we prevent the gene to be transcripted that means we prevent the production of mRNA from this DNA all, all this stuff now here we want to focus mainly on another third way of dealing with this problem gene and that is the silencing and degradation of that gene or DNA okay so if this is the DNA portion and that is creating a problem we will degrade it and once we degrade it it will no way produce any protein because if the DNA is not present RNAs will not be there and if the RNAs are not there no proteins will be made so the idea of gene silencing in the generalized term if I say the gene silencing using RNA technology because nowadays there are different techniques available I told you regarding the gene knockout knockdown which are recombination based techniques but here we want to focus on RNA biology techniques the RNA techniques to do the gene silencing is known as there are two main type of techniques that are available nowadays one is let me write them down one is known as the antisense RNA antisense RNA technology and second type is known as RNA interference or RNA I okay I have a separate video on RNA interference and how RNAi is used to silence genes. So you can watch those videos for understanding this RNAi mechanism, right? Now in this video, I am just going to give you an overview of how we go for gene silencing using RNA technologies. And also I will be focusing on the antisense RNA technology in a separate video. So watch those videos for detailed learning of those processes. But this is going to be an overview of how gene silencing is brought about. By the combination of these two techniques you can also use these two techniques independently different ways but both of these techniques have same motto that is we have a DNA right that is marked the target DNA a target gene and they have to degrade that DNA that is the idea okay so now what we do in this case the motto is same for both of them but the process is different it's, it's quite different in some aspects so I'm going to talk about the difference between antisense RNA technology and RNAi technology in silencing a gene okay now let me give you an example 
normally in our body we encounter a lot of say the reactive oxygen species we actually encounter so is, is other thing there so reactive oxygen species is always there surrounding us and it is creating harm in our body all the time so to prevent against those reactive oxygen species we need an important enzyme that, that is SOD superoxide dismutase okay SOD now one of those there are different varieties of SOD is present in our body one of that type is SOD1 so SOD1 is very important gene to fight against those reactive oxygen species or ROS okay the free radicals actually so this SOD is a good gene but if there is a mutation in this SOD then SOD can behave badly and in that case SOD creates problem it creates the degradation of nerve cells in our brain which in turn is linked with the disease ALS okay so you know the ALS in ALS what happens the brain cells start to die okay because they are much vulnerable to damage by the ROS and stuff so in that case SOD should prevent us but if it's having any mutation it cannot okay so as a result it can cause ALS so if we find individual who have SOD1 mutation so we don't need that SOD1 mutated gene anymore okay now if we can fix that mutation it would be good but if we cannot then it's our idea to remove that gene completely from that individual's body so if we can remove that gene by degrading that DNA it can prevent us from getting the disease ALS right that is the idea so this is the type of sequence of situations that we can do to fight against different diseases okay so there are two major purpose for going for gene silencing first purpose is sometime to know the function of a gene so to know the function of a gene what you need to do you can block the function of it or you will remove that gene to check what alteration of function in the cell is occurring due to the change to find out what exact function that part of the gene is playing and second important thing is to remove this mutated genes or to cure some diseases and welcome back friends now we are going to talk about the antisense RNA technology. We know about the gene silencing and gene silencing can be done in three different ways. One way we can do the gene silencing. Normally gene silencing means we don't want any expression of that gene. That means we don't want any copies of protein made from that gene, from the signaling of that gene. So the idea it can be done uh, that we can prevent the expression of a gene in three different ways. First is that we can completely remove that gene, remove that gene, we can do that by gene knockout process. Second approach that we can do is degrade the, the regulation of this expression of gene in the transcription level. And third type of regulation that we can do is that prevention of the expression in the translation level. Because you know the central dogma of biology and it states if there is a DNA, the DNA will make mRNA. This is the first level where we can prevent. Second is it will make proteins. So this is the second level that we can prevent. Okay. So actually according to my write-up it's the second, this is the third level and the first way is that completely remove that DNA. This is the first way to prevent it. So there are the three different ways a gene can be silenced to take completely this take this gene completely out of the individual's body this is the first thing second is do the prevention at the time of transcription of the DNA or third thing do the prevention of the expression at the time of translation that means prevent the mRNA okay now gene silencing can be of different types that I told you many different types now in this video we want to focus on the gene silencing by RNA technologies or gene silencing by RNA because RNA is very important molecule to 
to target a specific DNA or mRNA and degrade them down. That can be done very easily. RNA can degrade selectively. RNA can select and degrade DNA strands using RNAi or RNA interference mechanism, right? The process of RNA interference mechanism, I already explained in a separate video. So you can watch that video to know about details in the RNA interference or RNAi technique. But in this video, mainly we are going to talk about the antisense RNA technology, which is another way of preventing the expression of a gene. But this time, this antisense RNA technology is the prevention of the expression of the gene in the translation level. That means we use a specific sequence of RNA, which is known as antisense RNA, to block and degrade mRNAs. Okay. So our target will be mRNA and with which we will degrade by RNA, antisense RNA, that is our idea. So we know uh, that uh, re this, this degradation of genes are required for prevention of certain diseases. So let us assume here, this is the gene as, as I talked about earlier that this is a SOD1 gene which is mutated and cause ALS. So to prevent that we want to degrade all the expression of this gene because if this gene is expressed and the proteins are made it can cause ALS. So let us say this DNA, this gene produces lot of mRNA, lot of mRNA in the cell, okay, mRNAs are taken out, lot of mRNAs in the cell, okay. So what we need to do, we need to degrade those mRNAs so that they cannot be translated further. To do that we use the antisense RNA technology. Now, what is antisense RNA? Antisense RNA is a complementary RNA strand of the mRNA, right? So, a DNA produces mRNA by transcription and what we can do is we can design a segment of RNA which is having sequence complementarity against that mRNA, okay? So, let us draw it here. Let us say, C, G, U, A, A. Let us say this is the mRNA that we are targeting. So we want to degrade this mRNA. So if we know the target mRNA sequence, we can easily design the antisense RNA because it will be the complementary of that mRNA. So the antisense RNA that we design will be complementary so it will look something like this. This is the antisense RNA, okay? And normally antisense RNA are not very long. It's, it's maximum to 20 nucleotide long, okay? So there are 15 to 20 nucleotide long sequence of RNA which is having complementary against the mRNA of our target, okay? So this is our target that we need to break it, break down. It produces this antisense RNA and the important thing about antisense RNA technology is that we can inject this antisense RNA from outside into the individual's body. And this antisense RNA can go there, it can bind with the mRNA sequences as they have complementarity in nature and then it will take the help of RNAs H, it is an enzyme in our body, RNAs H. RNAs H can selectively break down this mRNA sequence that is present there. It will break this mRNA down. So RNA's H will be recruited. RNA's H will be recruited. It will break this target mRNA down. Okay. So we can get rid of all the mRNAs. So if we get rid of all the mRNAs, there is no way the protein will be produced. Right. So this is a way to go against specific diseased DNA in our body, okay. This is antisense RNA mediated gene silencing. There are also this RNA mediated gene silencing. Now the difference between antisense RNA mediated gene silencing and RNA mediated gene silencing is that RNA mediated gene silencing works little complex manner. It will involve many different proteins. It will involve the production of a complex known as RNA induced silencing complex or RISC. It also requires a specific protein or enzyme to degrade and that is dicer to generate. 
and the rna i depends on the template rna which are much longer twice as much longer compared with this sequence length of the antisense rna okay while well, antisense rna technology is much basic uh, the number of um, sequence uh, nucleotide sequences is up to 20 nucleotide maximum and this antisense rna can go easily bind with that it can degrade uh, this by RNAsage and RNAsage by the way is the endonuclease and you must know this because it can degrade uh, the RNA strands from it and it's not it's not specific it's a non-specific endonuclease kind of enzyme so this is the major difference between antisense RNA and RNAi antisense RNA can you can easily inject it from outside it can do its job like that and uh, the prevention by antisense RNA technology is to block the synthesis of protein from mRNA so we are degrading mRNA as well. So we are not targeting the DNA or gene. We are targeting the mRNA which is produced uh, by that DNA. Now, but the problem with this antisense RNA, as we are targeting mRNA, there will be many copies of the mRNA produced from the specific genes. So we need to have very high concentration of antisense RNA delivered inside the cell to go against uh, the produced mRNA. Okay, so that in a sense is antisense RNA technology and antisense RNA technology mediated gene silencing. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that. Thank you.